Welcome to this video which will show you how to use an optimization parameter in Analytics Solver Platform or a subset product such as Risk Solver Platform, Premium Solver Platform, Analytics Solver Pro, or Premium Solver Pro. In our first video, I showed you how to quickly and easily create and solve your first optimization model using Frontline Systems Analytics Solver Platform. Now let's see how we can gain a bit more insight into our model. At present, this model is very static, meaning that all of our profit points and inventory levels are constant. In the real world, we know this isn't true. Suppose we wanted to see how our total profit was affected as the profit per TV ranged from $50 to $100. We could, I suppose, solve this model multiple times, each time entering a new profit point into cell C16. Or we could use an optimization parameter to do this for us. Select cell C16 and then click Parameters, Optimization on the ribbon. Enter the lower bound of 50 for this argument and the upper bound of 100 for the second argument. Then click OK. If we inspect cell C16, we see that the function PSI op param has been entered into the cell. If we run 11 different optimizations, then in the first optimization, the value of C16 will be 50, the second, 55, the third, 60, etc. Solver will keep track of the objective function value, the variable values, and any other cell that you deem important for each optimization. Click the Platform tab and enter 11 for optimizations to run. Then click the Engine tab and confirm that Automatically Select Engine is selected. Then click Optimize to solve. In a fraction of a second, Analytics Solver Platform has solved 11 different optimizations. Now let's check out our result. Click Charts, Multiple Optimizations, Monitored Cells. By default, Solver monitors our variable and objective function cells. Select Objective, and then say OK. In the resultant chart, we see that our objective function increases as the number of optimizations increase. Click here to open the side panel and select Use Labels to add the exact value of the objective for each optimization. Now change Chart Type to Chart Options and select PSI Op Param. Doing so gives us a little more insight as we can now see that as the profit per TV increases, so does our objective function. Now note, this information is available immediately after an optimization has been run. If you make any changes to the spreadsheet, you'll need to rerun Solver. Now, what if we wanted to also monitor our inventory usage, specifically the number of power supplies we have used for each optimization? To do so, we would simply find an empty cell, such as I13, and enter the following function. And provide cell G13 as the argument. This is the cell that I want to monitor. Now click Reports, Optimizations, Parameter Analysis. I'm going to add all monitored cells to the report, along with my optimization parameter and click OK. Solver will run our 11 optimizations again and report the results in this analysis report. Our first column holds our parameter value, which is the profit point for LCD TVs. The next three columns are our variable values, and the last column is our objective function. So we see that when the profit for a TV reaches $75, we should make 200 TVs and stereos with no speakers. This will use up 400 power supplies. Now, as you can see, this report appears in a separate spreadsheet from our model and is in a fixed layout. What if we wanted to capture values from each optimization run in cells of our own choosing? In this case, we can use PSI opt value with a second argument. For example, let's say we wanted to show the objective function for each optimization in our worksheet. I will enter the optimization run number here. So I'll start with one and then go all the way down to 11. And now, in cell G18, I'll enter PSI opt value, 
And my first argument is going to be a, my objective function, because this is a cell that I want to see on the spreadsheet. And then if I press F4, I can anchor that cell, enter a comma, and then reference cell B18 for my optimization number. Press enter, and then I can pull this down. I'm going to do the same here for my LCD TV profit. So I'm going to say PSI opt value. I'm going to reference cell C16. Press F4 to anchor. Comma. Reference my optimization run number. And then again, I will pull this down. Now I'm going to click the green arrow to solve all 11 optimizations at once. And here we can see the result of all 11 optimizations. So for optimization 1, our objective value is 24,000. For optimization 2, which used a profit point of $55 for TVs, the objective function was 24,000. And for optimization number 3, which used 60 for the LCD TV profit, the objective function was 24,000. Now lastly, we can also use this drop-down menu to look at final values of each specific optimization. For example, if I select opt number 5, my variable cells change to the final variable values for optimization number 5. You can see my profit per TV was $70, which matches the $70 down here. And also my objective function was $24,000 which again matches my objective value down here. To conclude, Frontline Solvers for Optimization not only allow you to use the latest optimization techniques to solve a model, but also to perform a parameter analysis, giving you insight into your model's solution quickly and efficiently. If you have any questions or problems, please contact us at www.solver.com.